Okay, so I want to talk about buckshot for a moment. Um, here in Canada, one of the shots that used to be quite popular was called SSG. SSG is just a unit of measurement. It's not used in the states that I know of. It was used here in Canada for a long time. It's used in Europe, it's used in Australia, it's used in England. I think the use of SSG here in Canada died out around the same time that Imperial shut down operations. So all of our buckshot, commercial buckshot, at least most of it, now comes out of the States, so we get double up buck. So here's an example of number one buck. I don't know how well it's going to show up, but they're stacked in fours, layers of four there. So there would be 12 in that. Here's a double lot buck. This particular one's a Dominion. That one was a S and B. And these ones are stacked in threes. So there's nine in this one. SSG is just a little smaller than double lot buck. It stacks in threes, but it stacks inside of a shot cup, which I'm going to do here now. Uh, the only real advantage to SSG over double lot buck that I could imagine is the fact that for a reloader it's certainly easier because you don't need any special wads, you just use a regular one ounce load for bird shot and a regular shot cup. Now, having the wads with the pedals on them, depending on the wad that you use, can keep a tighter group longer, so that may be why SSG was preferred for a long time. That uh, kind of died out just as I was getting into the whole hunting thing, me being a little youngster and all. But you still find it now and then. So there's two SSGs, that's nine 31 caliber pellets. Uh, the exact diameter on this stuff will vary depending on manufacturer. Even buckshot and stuff, it varies a little bit. So I'm going to move these over and show you that they crimp just like a regular shell and show you the end product. So you can see that one there is stacked a little bit high, but that tends to happen when you got different styles of holes. So here's a bunch that I did up trying out different hulls, see which one's going to work the best. As you can see, the Remington Gun Club. There's not enough room. This is a Challenger, Fiatchi, same thing. It's a little... doesn't quite fill it, but that's, that's alright, that works just fine. Here's the same one with a uh, over powder card. That gives a decent crimp. The Winchester AA gives a decent crimp, although it's not completely closed. And the Remington Nitro, much like the Gun Club, not enough room, didn't close. Okay, so that's my little two cents on the, the buckshot versus the SSG. Uh, kind of the reason I wanted to do this video to start with, I came across this comment on a forum. The guy posted a question, basically just says, what is SSG? Did he ask at the local gun shop? Nobody knew. And the first comment off of it was, oh, well, when I was playing such and such video game, I learned that SSG stands for Super Shotgun. 
So if that guy's watching, don't even bother leaving a comment. Just go away. Um, so now we know that it's basically double lot buck inside of a shot cup. Um, from reloading perspective, it's got some pretty good advantages and performance. I don't know if it's going to make that much of a difference being inside of a wad, but I guess depending on the wad you use, it could make quite a bit of difference. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe. I was hoping to get out and shoot these today and just see if there is a difference in grouping between mine and double lot buck, but the weather is not looking that great. We're starting to get a few sprinkles already, so I have to postpone it till next time. So hopefully you're around to watch that video as well. And see you next time.